Hey guys, what's poppin'? Justin here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm doing a favorites video. What was lit and what was a dub so far in 2019. Now, if you guys are OGs to my channel and been waiting for me to post, <laughs> you guys know that this is something that's not new to my channel. I used to do favorite videos all the time, but you know, things happen, but again, I'm back and I'm showing you guys my favorite things so far in 2019. So if you guys don't really watch me for makeup or are not into makeup and y'all just watch me for story time or entertainment, <laughs> I'll leave a marker down below that you guys could skip to and y'all could just, we could talk about everything else that's going on, okay? But right now, we about to get into why my highlight is gleaming and my gloss is beaming. Sim Simma, who got the keys to the Vimma? Who am I? Girl, them sugar. I don't know if I even said it right, <laughs> but let's go. So, since it's 2019 and, you know, January just started, I have some faves that I've been using since December and I haven't really, like, you know, started using them until December. So, you know, this is, like, my New Year's kind of thing. Okay, so if you guys watched my last video, you guys know that I told you guys this was going to be on this video. And I'm obsessing over these Cover FX concealers. These concealers are bomb. Um, my best friend actually put me on to these, Aaliyah. And she was just like, if you want these, like, use these. And I was like, girl, let me try them out. And these are, like, literally my faves. I'm in love with them so much. I use them to contour and to conceal. I don't know if I say this a lot, but I don't use concealers at all. I just think um, they, I already have chinky eyes, so when I use a concealer, like a LA Girl concealer, it just makes me look like super chinky, and it gives me like flashback kinda. Um, these concealers are bomb with no flashback. They kinda are like foundations, I feel like. I don't know, just like with a more like perfect finish. Um, I use the color N Medium 3 under my eyes and then to contour I use G G D3. Damn. If you guys are looking for a popping concealer, these are it. So you don't have to look no further. It makes me actually want to try their foundation. So these concealers are $30 at Sephora and they come with 0.33 fluid ounces. So when you guys look at the packaging, I don't even know if you guys can tell like through the camera, but these don't look that big at all. And then when you open it, like the applicator is huge like I don't know if you guys can see that but the applicator is really big so I remember at first um I was using like a lot under my eye like I thought I could use dots because I don't know why I didn't think the applicator was gonna put that much product on my um face and I ended up using way too much of it, so I was just like, oh hell no. A little goes a long way with this. Like the applicator brush is thick and it holds a lot of product. And this is like really small. It looks, it seems really small, but it's really not. If you use a little bit, this will last you a long time. So these is definitely, definitely lit, okay? I don't think I'm ever gonna use a different concealer. So the next thing that's lit up in my lineup is the Huda Beauty powders. Um, I have two of these powders. I have one in sugar cookie and one in pound cake, I think. Um, this is popping, okay? I use the white one to uh, bake all over my face. I don't just bake under my eyes. I use a powder all over my face to give me like this flawless finish because like I said in my last video, I like to have a matte look but without using matte foundations because matte foundations tend to peel. They tend to get really dry on your skin. So I like to have like a perfect finish without kind of using matte foundations. And not for nothing, that's why I don't really like the Fenty foundations too much. Um, if I use Fenty foundation, it has to be like a little bit and I will have to like not use as much powder because it oxidizes kind of, sort of, and it's matte. So, it's, you know, I just rather not because I love using powder. But anyway, these Pseudo Beauty powders is everything. I love doing that now. I don't know why. But these are everything. I keep smelling it because it smells just like a sugar cookie. I could smell this all day. It literally smells like a fragrance. That's crazy. This is popping. It keeps it on all day. I have a flawless finish all day. I usually use um, white powder from the drugstore because I used to feel like, oh, well, I'm just using white powder just to give me that finish. It's not really like a product that's like necessary. But this has made me learn that every product you put on your face is necessary. So this white powder, like the powder that I had before, 
it will give me the flawless finish for like the moment in time or maybe like an hour or two but throughout the day like my pores will start seeping through if i got oily throughout the day like my pores will start seeping through this like locks in your pores and like really has it like on lock so even if it gets oily it like soaks it in but i also do layer this with bronzer so i'll use this after cream contour bronze my face and then I'm done. A Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder is $34 at Sephora and it comes with 0.71 ounces. Now the only thing I don't like about this powder is where you have to take the powder out of. It has like a little like trampoline kind of like you gotta pump it for the powder to come out. I really don't like that. I was this close to cutting it open. I actually probably still am but um that's the only thing I really don't like about this powder. But as far as the formula and everything, it's like perfect. Um, to compare it to my Derma Blend powder, the Derma Blend powder I think is a little more thicker for me. Um, I like this Derma Blend powder though. It is 0.63 ounces, and this one is Illuminating Banana Powder. So it's good. Um, I don't like it as much as the Huda Beauty as far as covering my face with powder and giving me like that flawless finish. I like it to bake under my eyes, but that's kind of about it. I kind of, I used it today too to bake under my eyes. But as far as using it for a powder to like pat my whole face down, if you get oily and you pat your whole face down, kind of like how Patrick does. Um, I don't really recommend this one. So the Huda Beauty one is definitely okay, lit. So I know you guys are wondering like, Justin, why is your lip gloss so popping? I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I'm wearing this Morphe gloss. Oh my God, it is so popping. This gloss is part of a 12 piece set. I don't know if you can buy it separately. I'm not 100% sure, but I know it's a part of a 12 piece set. I have all 12. It's only like nine, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Yeah, the 12 piece set is $19 on the website and it comes with 12 glosses. I think these are toppers though, honestly, because the formula is really sheer. The formula is really sheer, like you can still see the natural color on my lips, but it just gives it like a, a pinkish effect. So I think these are toppers, I'm not 100% sure. But it's popping, right? Like. I love this gloss so much. This is my new shit now. I'm going to be wearing this all the time. I like my gloss to look like crackhead white, kind of, because, I don't know, it just make me feel like, ta-ta, bam, 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 That was my shit. So that's how I feel like with this gloss. Like, Little Mama lip gloss is popping. So these glosses is Little Mama lip gloss popping, okay? These is lit. And the last beauty item I want to talk about is my Pure Bronze and Brighten Palette. Now you know this is a fave when the palette is all dirty, okay? This is in and out my makeup bag, in and out my room. Sometimes I take this by yourself in my, in my little pocket or in my little bag, like, because it is so clutch. The best part of this palette is this right here i really don't use the blush like that i don't wear blush period because i like to look like brown and matte and like you know just very actually not brown and matte more like brown and wet <laughs> very that but um this highlighter right here is what i have on right now oh my god everything this is the most pigmented highlighter i feel like i've ever tried ever and if y'all know me y'all know i am the king of highlight okay but but not the king i think i'm the king of nose highlight actually let me put some on right now because yes oh my god look how cute that looks Look how cute that looks. Why didn't I put nose highlighter on before? But no, not for nothing. This highlighter is everything. Um, the bronzer is okay. I do like the bronzer to layer. Um, I really don't like shimmery bronzers. I don't know what it is about shimmery bronzers that I just can't get down with. So I'll use like my regular bronzer. And then if like I want to just darken up like maybe right here, I'll take like a big fluffy brush and just like pat it. Take a brush like this. Put it on my brush and just like pat it just to give me like more definition on my cheekbone maybe but not to use this as like a regular bronzer no i wouldn't just put this on as bronzer unless it's an emergency and i have no bronzer which never happens so it don't matter but this highlighter is popping let me tell you something i started doing highlighter with this skinny brush oh 
everything. I used to do my highlighter with a big, fat, fluffy brush, and it just would give me like big, like, I don't know, like fat highlighter. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, just mad thick. And you know, my highlight was popping, but it just made my face look bigger. So when you have like a skinnier highlight, it's like, ooh, so thin and cute and dainty. Before my highlighter was like, bitch, I'm here. Like my fucking highlighter, fuck you talking about, bitch. Now it's more like, hello, it's me, like pinky stuff, like, you know, very like, I like expensive shoes, I like expensive cars, I like niggas with money. You better be that, you know what I'm saying? This, um, palette all in all in itself is lit more so because of the highlighter i haven't really tried the blush and the bronzer is okay but this highlighter is definitely lit. so welcome if you skipped my makeup stuff and now you came over here which you should actually go back and learn something okay because i'll be dropping gems now for clothes, I really don't have that much. Honestly, I'm wearing my favorites right now, which I shouldn't do. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys like when I wear the favorites? Or would you rather like just see it on me going like this? Like, look at my favorite stuff. But whatever. Anyway, this is my favorite. This is a shirt from Pretty Little Thing. Honestly, I don't even know if they have this anymore. I really don't, but I just rediscovered it in my closet and I was like, oh my god, this is popping. This necklace that I got is from Pretty Little Thing. It's so cute. It just reminds me, well, it has a snake right here. And it reminds me of like, stupid, I'm the snake charmer. This is a different text bracket, upper echelon. And I don't know what it is. Honestly, towards the end of the year, everybody was feeling snake skin. And I'm not against it. Like, so I think this is definitely one of the things that they took into 2019. And stay tuned for Fashion Week because I'm about to shut it down. I'll probably wear this shirt again in a look because, you know, recycle. <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, this chain and this shirt is definitely lit. Now, the next thing is just a regular t-shirt, but it's just not any t-shirt. And this is more so like, so you guys can understand the kind of guy I am, I guess. I got this shirt from Pretty Little Thing as well. You guys know I love Pretty Little Thing. And they had like a young thug, like, th thing. I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it's really young thug. Um... Yeah, it's his merch, basically. They were selling his merch on Pretty Little Thing. It says Young Thug right here. You guys can see that. Young Thug. And it just ha it just says Thugger on it. And then it has this baby in the back saying shh, like a statue of a baby. And one thing about me, the reason why I'm putting this in my favorites video is not because it's like... It says Thugger, but because it's Young Thug. And I am in love with Young Thug, and I also am in love with Pretty Little Thing. And when they had this, when they were selling his merch, bitch, I died. Honestly, I need to look into um if this is his merch, because not for nothing, if it's not, me and Young Thug are about to get that bag, because why are they selling Young Thug stuff on Pretty Little Thing and it's fake? Okay, his real fans would not like that, like me. Actually, I love Young Thug. I love him for his looks. If I could have a guy like Young Thug, I would be married. Like, I literally would be married. And you have to be just like Young Thug. Like, you have to have his sense of humor. You have to look like him. You have to dress like him. You have to ball like him, okay? Like, I mean, you could look a little better, not for nothing, <laughs> but... I love Young Thug. I think he's so fucking cute. I think he's so fly. I think with me, more so, I think guys who are, who don't try to fit the mold of something are so cute. Like, I just love rock stars. Like, I just love people who do their own thing, who's just their own rock star. And, like, little Uzi, Young Thug, everybody thinks they're so ugly, but I think they're so... <sighs> I get wet just thinking about them. Like, yeah, get you an ugly nigga. Those be the ones that nobody want, nobody looking at, and they treat you nice. So, like, when girls be like, why are you into him? Like, ew, like, and it's because, yeah, bitch, nobody gonna want him except me. Honestly, that's an insecure trait. I'm not saying it for that, but that's just a plus about it. But, no, I think I really have a problem. Every dude that I show my friends, they be like, yo, he's busted. Like, why do you talk to him? He's so ugly. 
I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I just like people's swag. If you have good swag, like, and you don't try to be something else, like, you're just a rock star and you're in your own world, that make me bust it open. <laughs> like, <laughs> but no, this shirt is definitely lit because it's my man. If you guys know Young Thug and y'all, y'all watch me and y'all in Young Thug circle, tell them hit my line because I do it all, okay? I do it all. All. Okay, there's nothing I won't do, and I mean it, okay? Nah, <laughs> I sound like such a thought. But seriously, this shirt is definitely lit, it's my fave. Because let me tell y'all something, I talk about anime on my favorites videos because I have nobody else to talk about anime with except this camera. So this section is gonna be for anime. Anime helped me grow as a person. It's raised me, it's opened my mind up, it's the... It's what made me the intelligent, aware person that I am today, okay? The first anime that I want to talk about that is Mad Poppin' is the new one on a block, okay? And it's Black Clover. Black Clover is so poppin', you guys don't even understand. I'm in love with Black Clover. I think the storyline is going at a perfect pace. Like, sometimes I feel like things happen too fast. Like, okay, so, Asta and everybody's here, then boom, something happened here, then boom, the Diamond Kingdom come, boom, and then the witch come, and then boom, it be too much going on. Um, but honestly, I think Black Clover is really doing really well. I'm really excited to see how far it's going. My favorite character, I think, is... I actually really like the Lightning Boy because I feel like that would be me, but he's too into fighting, so I, that's not a good thing. Like, he, like... Yo, like, I wanna fight, I wanna fight, I wanna fight every five seconds. Um, I used to be like that. <laughs> so that's not a good thing, but I think I just resonate with him more. But, yeah, not for the thing, I think he's, like, my favorite character. I love him a lot. Oh, let me tell y'all conspiracy theory right now. So y'all know how it's a traitor in one of the captains, in one of the, or, yeah, captains. What is it, wizard captains? Magic captains? Mag Clover Kingdom captains? Whatever. It's a traitor. It's not the it's not the fat one with the purple. I'm gonna tell you who it is right now. I'm gonna tell you who it is right now. I don't know for sure. I'm just saying, but it is definitely the one that um the captain of the Black Knights, the one that he suspected. Like, yo, take your mask off. Tra. It's him. I know it's him. I know it is him because first of all, that that scene had could it not have been for nothing. And second of all, he looked too much like the guy the the first. A one that they fought that had light it, it, I don't know it's just too much of a correlation it's a correlation that I cannot even talk about but let me know in the comments what y'all think but an anime that's a dub right now and the only reason why I'm watching it is because of the legacy I actually have Naruto tatted on my wrist if you guys didn't know that but it's Baruto I feel like I'm watching like Inuyasha or something it's a kitty ass anime that has like a little bit of drama it's like a step up from a kitty drama like, it's, like, not that good. I feel like it's only not that good because we know how good Bar Naruto is. So, seeing Nar Baruto is so childish. I'm just ready for, like... Honestly, I shouldn't be waiting for them to be adults, though. Like, in Naruto, we was gagging at the kid, like, when they were kids. And then when Shippuden came out, we was just like, Oh, they about to shake the table even more! Like, da -da -da -da. like that's what Baruto should have did. Like, they're doing too much, like, introduction right now. I know it's only been, like... Damn, I think it's been like 80 something episodes. Yeah, it's 80 episodes in. Like, I think Naruto episode 80 was like fucking Gara versus Lee and Gara, like, you know, breaking this nigga up. Like, you know, so Naruto's just really been a dub so far, but I guess I'm gonna keep on watching. But I love Drag Race, okay? And let me tell y'all something Latrice is canceled she is canceled like and by the time i post this video it's gonna be another elimination so i don't know who's eliminated who's gonna get eliminated next i hope it's latrice because she's really canceled like how you gonna send valentina home valentina gotta win she's been in the bottom three times but it's like not really because like they be lying like <laughs> no but seriously like i get what valentina was saying as far as like being delusional because not for nothing and she's not delusional, it's just like, first of all, she should not have been in the bottom when she was in the bottom with, um, Gia. I don't know where that came from. It was literally, like, I think process of elimination. It has to be because, like, Valentina did not deserve to be in the bottom for that. 
Monet and Shane just mad busted. Like her runways has been mad busted. Like her her um her red dress that she wore that regular like suede print. Then recently this like plastic fancy um thing she was wearing this gladiator thing. Like it was cute for what it was, but it's like all stars though. Like really like Valentina has been serving us looks. Valentina has been serving us concepts. She's been funny. She's been in the top. Naomi Small has been doing good too. I'm not too mad that Naomi's staying to be honest. But Latrice is staying over Valentina. Like in, if you think about the bigger picture. Like I think production got so caught up in thinking that we would be so mad that Latrice were home. That they were like no like she, she has to come back in some way. Like she has to. Which actually is fucking false, okay? I'm so over Drag Race and this rigged ass show. All Stars 2, nothing will ever top All Stars 2 because it was authentic. Like, you get what I'm saying? I think production plans a lot of this stuff out, which is why Trixie is queen now. Valentina, she will always be a winner. She will always be the winner. Like, always. Whoever wins now, it don't matter because they can't top Valentina. But... I love Valentina. I was gonna get into music, but the sun is going down and it's getting late and I think this video is gonna be too long. So if you guys like my favorites video, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what else should I talk about in favorites. Like what else do you guys wanna hear about? Because honestly, clothes, TV, and music is all I really, and makeup is all I really like have to talk about. <laughs> so let me know what else you guys would like to hear my opinions on as far as pop culture stuff goes. And I will see you guys later on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.